Hello class. This is for my 8th grade class. Um, we're going to be looking at lesson 2 today. And we're going to be looking at reflections. Just like the ones you see in the mirror. Alright. So, we start looking at this. Hope everybody has their notes. Um, Sankey hmm, is an ancient Ukrainian art of egg decorating. That's exciting. Many, people, many artists use flips and lines of symmetry to create their designs. Use the activity to create your own Panksy design. So if we look down here, all right, try to draw, try to draw a triangle, and try to put the points right on the um, points where they intersect. Put it right on the coordinate points, and then roughly just connect them like that. It's not the best looking triangle, but whatever. Um, so I want to reflect this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect this over the Y. So think of this as like the mirror, okay? And we're going to reflect this point, all three of these points, I should say, over that line. All you do is you keep it on this on the um, horizontal line, and then you count how far it takes to get to the Y axis. So this point right here, I go one. So that means I go one past it. So that's my new point. And then here, let's see, I go one, two, three to the y-axis, and I'm going to go one, two, three past it. And then one, one. And then connect. Alright. So you should have, and then we're going to, I'm going to do one more. Alright, I'm going to reflect over the x-axis now. Okay. So take your triangle, and now you're going to be moving ver the vertical point, but you're not going to be moving the horizontal. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like the opposite of what you did up here. So now we're just going to go one down, so that means I have to go one past it. So there's going to be a point right there. And then on this one above it, I go one, two, three, four, so I have to go four past it. One, two, three, four, and then put my point right here. And then the last one, one, two, three, I go one, two, three. And notice that I'm on the same vertical line. I draw it like that. And then if you want to complete it, you can draw the last one. Reflect this one over here. Or reflect that one over down here. You should get the same results. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then connect. Alright, so when you're drawing when you're doing these um, reflections, you can reflect it multiple times. One reflection, two reflection. Alright? So I reflected that one twice. That's it. And then Actually, if I drew a line right here, these would be in, um, opposites of each other, but we get into that later. So, the word for this is line of symmetry, is when a figure can be folded so one side is the mirror image of another. So up here, we could fold this along the y-axis, like this, and get the same thing, or we could fold it along the x-axis and get that, and get the same thing. All right, so if we reflect over the x-axis, if we reflect over the x-axis, all it is, we keep the x the same, we just negate the y, so it'll be the opposite. So if our point is negative 4, 4, that means we're going to keep the x, so it's still going to be negative 4, which it is down here, but that positive 4 is going to be a, a negative 4. So when you cross the x-axis, the y is different, Conversely, when you go across the y-axis, the x is going to change, and the y is going to stay the same, okay? Oh, excuse me. So, once again, if you flip over the x-axis, the y's change. If, the y, if you flip over the y-axis, the x changes, okay? A reflection is a mirror image of the original figure. It is the result of a transformation of a figure over a line called a line of reflection. In a reflection, each point of the pre-image and its image are the same distance from the line of the reflection. So that's what these are. These, these two points are the same distance from that line. These two points are, and these two points are. So if we look down here, triangle ABC has vertices 5, 2, 1, 3, negative 1, 1. 
graph the figure and its reflected image over the x-axis. So remember, if we're going over the x-axis, that means that the y is going to change. So they do an example down here. So here's 5, 2, while a prime shown down here is 5, negative 2. So you see how the y changes. B, it's 1, 3. X stays the same, but y becomes negative 3. Negative 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. Right. So on the back, for 3 they go through another example, but this time they flip it over the y-axis. Okay, they flip, whoop, let me get it on here, they flip it over the y-axis. So remember, if it goes over the y-axis, the x is going to change, and that's what they show you in, here, in the example. So here, the original image, k prime, is negative 2 and 3, so if we flip over the y, the negative 2 is going to become a positive 2, or, I'm sorry, I got these two confused. 2, 3, and then it becomes negative 2, 3. 5, 1, negative 5, 1. So you see how the x is changing. The x is changing. Where there's the y is always staying the same. So try pause this and try A on your own, please. All right. Hopefully you tried it on your own. So it says triangle PQR has vertices 1, 5, 3, 7, 4, negative 1. Graph the figure and its reflection over the y-axis, then find the coordinates. So first thing I'm going to do is plot these points. So my first point is 1, 5, so I go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so there's, a, there's the first one. That's my P. Next one, Q, is 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's my Q. And then 4, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1. Alright, so now I'm going to connect these. Alright, so you should have a shape that looks similar. You should have had a shape that looks similar to this. Let me move this over a little. Okay, so look at this. Now I'm going to reflect that over the y-axis, over the y-axis. So if I'm going over the y-axis, I'm going to put down my new coordinates down here. So my p prime, my new one, so if I go over the y-axis, that means my x is going to change. So this is going to be negative 1, 5. Okay, so let's go over here. I'm going to plot my, my p, negative 1, negative 1. And then positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put my point. So there's my P prime. Okay. Next one is Q. So for Q, I have 3, 7. If I'm going over the Y axis, my X is going to change. So I get a negative 3, 7. So I get a negative 3, 1, 2, 3, positive 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to be up here. That's my Q prime. And then my last one is R is 4, negative 1. I'm going over the Y axis. The X is going to change, but the Y does not. So I get negative 4, negative 1. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1. And then connect them. And when you're connected them, you should have something that looks like that, like that. And then these would be the coordinates for it, okay? So you're always looking for the line of reflection. Now the line of reflection might not always be the axis. Sometimes it might be like x equals one or something like that. I'm, we're, I'm gonna go through an example. All right, so turn this over. So this is the work that I want you to work on. I'm gonna go through number one with you, okay? So, mm, so on this one, I have y equals negative 2. So my line reflection, I go to where y equals negative 2. So it would be 0, negative 2 is down here. Okay? That's y equals negative 2. Now, where, when does y always equal negative 2? Well, I'm going to have to draw a line where y is always negative 2. So the biggest the heart, the biggest question is, you know, do you go do you flip it like this or do you go like this? 
Well, you have to think about where what the Y value is. So you should be able to pick a point on this line, and Y should always be negative 2. So if I pick this point, well, this, the point on this coordinate is 1, 2, 3, negative 2. Over here, that's negative 2, negative 2. So my Y coordinate's always negative 2 on this line. And then reflect each point over it. Now, if this point's on it, you just leave it right there. That that If it's right on the line, that's a reflection of itself, okay? So for number one, you should have a line going across like this. And then I'm going to pause because I have a phone call. One second. All right, I apologize for that. Um, so for the number one, you should have a reflection, that line that looks like this. For number two, it says across the y, or the x-axis. So now you're just going to be going right across the x-axis, across that. Now for number three... Your reflection says y equals negative x, so it's going to look like this. When y equals negative x, it's going to start in the bottom left, and you're going to reflect it across this, all right? So you may have to go 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 1, 2, like that. So try your best, try your best, but that's going to be the reflection line for that. For the next one, y equals negative 1. I go here, where does y equal negative 1? y equals negative 1 right here. So I'm going to reflect it across that line right there, okay? Reflect it across that line. X equals negative 3 for number 5. So I go 0, X equals negative 3 right here. Oh, I'm sorry, negative 3. I want positive 3 right here, okay? And where does X always equal negative 3? On the vertical line. So you really have to focus... You really have to focus and think about if the line, if the reflection line is going to be up and down or left and right, okay? But it should look like that for number five. And then for number six, the last one, y equals x. y equals x is actually going to look like this. That's y equals x, okay? Over here, should have been this way, going down, dang it. Well, I'll try three and six on your on the, your best. <laughs> All right, all right. So try that, and then we'll have uh, a meeting tomorrow in Zoom. Thank you.